Hi guys, Mark the Bone here. How are you, are you all are doing today? Right, today's little lesson is one I've been requested lots and lots, and I've only just got around to doing it myself. So this is going to be warts and all mistakes, so don't worry about it. This is a classic Bruce Springsteen. Classic, classic Bruce Springsteen. This is Dancing in the Dark. Let's have a look and see how it goes. Dancing in the Dark, Bruce Springsteen. What a great song, what a great song. Um, this is, uh, this is um, one of those ones, a um, lot of one finger work, um, really, to be quite honest. Um, it's, the, the chords you need are G, um, C, A, D and E minor. So there's a few chords, but again, quite a simple one, mostly uh, one finger. Uh, the A is actually supposed to be an A minor, um, but because we're on three string, it sounds okay just as A. The E minor, um, it's good to do the E minor, it sort of sends, does, does, does sort of feel a bit better it, 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 than doing it in the E. Um, so what I'll do is I'll run through a verse and a chorus, and then we can start breaking it down. Now it's got a, riff, a little riff in it, um, in between the verses, because um, there is a middle eight in this. Um, and, and I'll show you how to do this little, this little riff. Um, it's quite a nice riff. Um, it's obviously the big thing in the song. Um, but when you do it, you strum all the strings. So that's a little riff which is quite a nice little riff because um, all you're doing is you're going between the second and the fourth fret um, on the bottom string um, and just strumming it um, so and then, and then back off so it's like song um, and if you can get that little riff obviously then everyone knows it's Bruce Springsteen dancing in the dark um, the mid late goes um, sorry the chorus the verse is um, G which is all strings open um, and then you go to the C which is the fifth string all strings and then it goes to the A which should be an A minor but it's A because we're playing it on the three string so the A is second fret all strings and it goes back to the C again fifth fret now, this is where you get your E minor. Now, the E minor is fourth fret, top string, second fret, middle, bottom one open. That's your E minor. And then back to the G. And then, again, E minor. And then what happens, you come from the E minor to the D, which brings you into the chorus. to C, spark, and then to the A, back to the C, to the A, to the G. So it's 
nice, isn't it? Nice, nice, nice with that little riff, little riff. Then the middle eight or the bridge um, goes to the E minor, to a G, to the C, to the D, to the E minor, to the E minor, to the G, to the C, to the D, and then you come straight back in with the next verse, with your third verse. So what you have is you have verse, chorus, verse, chorus, middle eight, third verse, chorus, and at the end, he just, at the end, he just does, um, we're just dancing in the dark, just keeps repeating that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll come to a close-up, so you can see the chords. Um, it's just a strumming technique, maybe a bit of muting. with the G, um, I do actually believe that there might be an E minor there um, when you do the um, get up in the morning, got nothing to say, get home in the evening, feel tired, whatever. I think there's actually an E minor in there somewhere, but I just find it just works you know, with, with the G, just muting it. Um, so yeah, I'll come to a close-up and you can see what I'm doing. So here we are at a close-up. So the little beginning riff is it's all on the bottom string. It's a second fret and the fourth fret. And it's just hovering, so you're going, you're going open twice. Actually, so it's three times. So it's three times, second, third. And then back to the second, twice on the open. Just to just get a best thing is just to try and get that riff going just on one string and then you can strum it. And then you can start strumming. So try it first off just with one, just picking it like that. And then you can actually bring your, your strumming in once you've got that. So, so the verse is open, um, and I'll say I'm just muting, just muting with this hand. Get up in the evening, and I ain't got nothing to say. Stay on the cheek, come on the morning. Get a bad feeling, the sight, see, same way, come on back to A, back to the C. I'm just back to the A, to the G. And then it goes to the E minor, to the G, to the E minor, to the D. Now the D, of course, is second top, second bottom, middle open. Then you're into the chorus. Can't start a fire, can't start a fire without to the C, G, to the fire, A, da da da, C. We're just an A dancing in the dark, then riff. into the, the third verse then. So it's a cracking little song, cracking little song. And so it's just getting that riff. Um, and so the chords are nice and easy. They're all simple, apart from that E minor, which is, um, you know, your, your top, fourth, middle, second, bottom open. And the D, you could play your D down here, if you want, on the seventh fret. I play it up here on, the, on this one, which is second top, second bottom, middle open. 
It just says you're jumping around a bit, but you can play it there, it's no problem. You know? you can actually play the A down here as well. But I find it's much better playing it up here. Easier for you guys with the one finger. So there we go. Nice and simple. Practice away. Get this well off. It's a cracking song. Bruce Springsteen. Okay, I'm going to sit back down. There you go. Bruce Springsteen. Dancing in the dark. Um, I'm going to start because um, people keep requesting um, songs and then they uh, I get a lot of requests for people saying um we don't do the full song you know you only do because well, I only do the fir a verse and the chorus so it's easier for you guys and it cuts the video down but um, I'm going to start up um, a Facebook group um, for Mike Lainey's Cigar Box guys um, where you can all share your ideas and we can all talk as a community um, and what I should do, I should do some live streams on that as well. So where I will play the whole song. So you've got a reference to me playing it as the whole song. And you can come back to YouTube and reference it. And plus you guys can put stuff on this. Because it's a group. It'd be like a forum. You guys can do some little recordings. Show me how you're getting on. And we can all talk to each other. Have a bit of communication going. For us cigar box guys. Um, okay, that's it for me today. Don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. Um, lots more coming up, lots more requests. See you again soon. Ciao.